Good evening viewers. Welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast 10. This is Mehsa Bin and here are the top 10 headlines of the day. Two minor brothers who went missing for two days were stabbed to death in Hailakandi district of Assam. Both of their bodies were found on Monday morning in Khujarai Basti. The bodies were spotted floating on the nearby water body with injury marks. Police reached the site and sent the bodies for post-mortem reports. In a major road incident, two four-wheelers collided near Khanapara footbridge in Guwahati on Monday morning, leaving five passengers on both cars injured. Reportedly, a speedy Kia vehicle collided with Alto 800 from behind during which three passengers on the speedy vehicle sustained critical injuries while the driver and passenger of the other car sustained minor injuries. A foreign national was caught by the police on Monday in Guwahati on charges using forged passport to enter the country as per the Foreigners Act 1946. The foreigner was staying in the Hatigao locality for some time. Reportedly, he had visited Assam for the first time in 2016. Reports further claim that he preached Hinduism back in Poland. The Crime Investigation Department, Assam, on Monday arrested former Bajari Superintendent of Police Siddhartha Buragohai in connection to the alleged corruption case. This comes moments after the former SP was summoned to the Assam CID headquarters earlier today. The Manipur government has filed a case against a few members of the fact-finding team of the Editors Guild of India who had visited the state to publish a report of the ongoing crisis. Manipur Chief Minister Anbirin Singh warned the members of the Editors Guild to meet representatives of all communities and then publish any report. As the ethnic clashes continue in Manipur, as many as 12,694 children are living in relief camps across the northeastern state of which 100 are severely traumatized and need professional help, reports emerged on Monday. Counselors are deployed in every district through district children protection officers to address the mental health of the displaced children. The iconic voice of rocket launch countdowns, Indian space and research organization scientist Anne Valarmathi died on Saturday, nearly two months after her last assignment, the Chandrayaan-3 moon mission launch. She suffered a heart attack and died at the age of 64. The Chandrayaan-3 mission's lander Vikram has achieved another significant milestone as it successfully undertook a hop experiment. The lander successfully underwent a hop experiment and on command, it fired the engines, elevated itself by about 40 cm as expected and landed safely at a distance of 30 to 40 cm away. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the departure of Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov, calling for new approaches a year and a half into Russia's invasion. The announcement came hours after Ukraine fought off an attack by Russian drones in the southern Odisha region early Sunday that hit a Danube port on the border with NATO member Romania. Five civilians were killed by bombs that fell on their homes a day after an airstrike in Sudan's Khartoum killed at least 20 civilians. Residents of the Watton capital reported the city was again pummeled by artillery and rocket fire since Sunday in the fifth month of the war between the army and the paramilitary fighters. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us and staying updated with the latest happenings around the world. Before we go, we would like to remind you to stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and Telegram to get real-time updates and breaking news. Tune in tomorrow at the same time for more news and updates. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.